Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel. He was here to break down the top NBA plays of the day. What's going on, Tom? I'm doing good. A big 11 games on tonight's NBA slate, leading into conference championship weekend for the NFL. It's a good time. It is. It begins a fun weekend of action. 11 games tonight, like you mentioned. So let's jump into it. We begin in Houston, where Victor Oladipo is starting for his new team. He's priced at $8,500. And as he looks to get back to full health for the first time in several years on this new team, Oladipo has proven to be a valuable commodity for DFS players. Absolutely. And I think that his value is going to continue to rise, at least in the short term, simply for the fact that Houston doesn't really have anyone else on offense. John Wall is out. Christian Wood, who's having an amazing season, went down the other day. And it really leaves Oladipo as the number one option by far in Houston. You know, in his first two games, he's taken 23 and 22 field goal attempts. And these were games where Christian Wood was playing. I know he got hurt at the end of last game, but he only missed a handful of minutes. He still played his normal 33 minutos So if Oladipo is taking 23 and 22 field goal attempts in a normal game, now, with everyone else out, I would say that is his floor. Going up against Detroit, this is not a matchup we should be afraid of. $8,500, I think he could be a little bit more expensive. And we should be looking at another 30-plus minutes and 45-plus fame points from Oladipo tonight. There's just no one else there in Houston with all the injuries and all the hoopla that has surrounded the Rockets this year. Oladipo, healthy and by himself, it's a good combination here tonight. Getting him priced at under $9,000 uh, makes him somebody that I'm definitely looking to build around here as I make my fan to line up this evening. Up oh, next, for the Pistons, you like Jeremy Grant. Grant is priced at $8,400 for Detroit. Obviously, high price signing this offseason. Jeremy Grant does a little bit of everything, which makes him valuable in DFS. Exactly, and that translates to his 1.28 FanDuel points per minute. Really, one of the best signings of the offseason, I think, coming with a 23.8% usage rate. I want to say the star of the Pistons. Blake Griffin doesn't appear to be fully healthy. Uh, you know, we, we know they're dealing with some injuries to some of their younger players, and Grant is really that guy for them, playing 33 minutes nearly every 33 minutes or more nearly every single night, taking an average of 19 field goal attempts every single night. We're seeing him push towards a double-double on most nights. And this matchup against Houston is one that we can attack. So within this game, there are two very fairly priced players that both are doing more than I think their salary should be. So I like Grant. I like Oladipo. And 45-plus points from both of them, I think, is firmly on the table. I know it's weird to say that Jeremy Grant, a star, but that's what he is for this Detroit Pistons team. They gave him a lot of money. They believe in him. Blake Griffin certainly not what he once was. Andre Drummond traded away last year. This team relies on Jeremy Grant, and I think as a DFS player, we can as well. He's $8,400 tonight, uh, approaching the double-double on a nightly basis. It makes him well worth putting in our lineups this evening. One last player to get to here tonight, and he's actually the highest of these three players that we're speaking about today, and that's Clint Capella, the center for the Atlanta Hawks. He's priced at $9,200 here on FanDuel. And listen, that's a lot of money to pay for Clint Capella, but as of late, he's been worth it. Yeah, center is really interesting tonight. We have Jokic, we have Capello, we have Vucevic on the slate, Drummond is on the slate, all these great options. You know, Capello's coming off this massive 27-26 and 26 game, and that's not what we want to be chasing. Actually, we just want to be simply looking at this matchup. Going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves, we're allowing 60.41 FanDuel points per game to opposing centers. That is dead last in the league. We know they are without Carlton Towns. We just saw Vucevic go up against them and post 53 FanDuel points the other night. So we're looking at a solid 223 point over under. These teams are 7th and 11th when it comes to pace uh, for 7th for Minnesota, 11th for Atlanta. And Capella is always a guy that can go for a double-double. So we're taking the matchup against Minnesota, which is super soft. We're taking I know, the potential that he's not going to be as highly rostered as the other centers on the slate. And another player that's going to post 40-plus FanDuel points. At center night, there are quite a few options, really high-priced options. So it's trying to find the right one that fits. Taking advantage of this massive Capella at $9,200 could be that guy for us tonight. That's going to do it here on the FanDuel. Hurry up, Tom. We appreciate the time. Good luck tonight. Same to you. Have a good weekend. Thank you very much. Enjoy the conference championships. Enjoy all the NBA action. And we'll be back here on Monday for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.